So now I want to go over some examples of adding and subtracting fractions. And the main thing you have to remember, and I wrote this for you in green, is you must have common denominators. And the denominator is just a bottom number in a fraction. So what that means is, is that the bottom number in both fractions have to be common, or they have to be the same. Um, so let's just get started with this example. Here we have 5 over 7 plus 1 over 7. And notice how both of our bottom numbers, both of our denominators, are the same. So they're common. We have a common denominator of 7. So since we have a common denominator, we can add these fractions quite easily. Whenever you add fractions, the denominator always stays the same. So we know that we're going to have a denominator of 7. And then in the numerator, we just add the two numbers. So since we have a 5 and a 1, we just add the two numbers together. So in our numerator, we have a 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6. And our denominator, we have a 7. So 5 over 7 plus 1 over 7 is equal to 6 over 7. Um, so now let's do the same exact problem with subtraction. Uh, say we have 5 over 7 and we subtract 1 over 7 instead. And once again, we need to have common denominators, and we do. We have a common denominator of 7, so we can just subtract these fractions quite easily. Once again, our denominator stays the same. We have a denominator of 7. And then in the numerator, instead of adding 5 and 1, we're going to subtract 5 minus 1. So in our numerator, we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. In the denominator, we have a 7. So our final answer is 4 over 7. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.